This is Celebrity Thursdays. Every Thursday, we present you with another celebrity. Today, we're looking at 15 Things You Didn't Know About Pierce Brosnan. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, ALUXers, and welcome to another exciting original video presented by ALUX.com. Today, we're revealing some interesting, lesser known facts about Irish actor and producer Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan was born May 16, 1953, in County Louth, Ireland. He had a lonely childhood and was primarily raised by his grandparents and other extended family, while his mom worked as a nurse in London. He didn't discover his love of acting until he was in his late teens, and after three years of training, he started acting in stage productions in London. His first movie role was in The Long Good Friday in 1980, where he played Irishman No. 1. He gained greater attention the following year, when he had a prominent role in the miniseries called The Mansions of America, and this led to his starring role in the American television series Remington Steel, which he was in from 1982 to 1987. He's best known for his four James Bond films. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We want to learn some more about Brosnan because he has had such a long and successful career and is still a prominent figure in the film industry. We are inspired by his ambition, longevity, passion, and lifestyle. So let's take a closer look at this celebrated actor with the 15 things you didn't know about Pierce Brosnan. Number 1. He dropped out of school to become a painter. Once Brosnan reached the age of 16, he decided to drop out of school. He went to a very strict Catholic school in London, and as an Irishman, he never quite felt like he fit in there. When he dropped out, he decided he would become a painter, and he began training at St. Martin's School of Art in London. It wasn't until he discovered his passion for acting several years later that he says he finally felt free. In his early 20s, he trained for three years at the Drama Center London and said nothing had ever made him feel more satisfied in life than acting. Number 2. He became a United States citizen in 2004. Pierce moved to the United States in 1982 to take on the title role in Remington Steel, a television series that combined romance and detective drama. Although he continuously lived in the United States, it wasn't until more than 20 years later, in 2004, that he became an American citizen. He now holds dual Irish and American citizenship. Despite the added citizenship, though, he said that his Irishness is in everything he does and the spirit of who he is. Number 3. He was in the circus for three years. When he was a teenager, Pierce ran into a fire eater performing on the streets of London, and he decided to join with him and learn the craft. After a circus agent saw him performing on the streets for tips, he hired him to be a part of his circus act. Pierce signed a contract and performed with the circus as a fire eater for three years while in his teens, and his skill was later showcased in an episode of Remington Steel. Number 4. He turned down the role of James Bond seven years before his first Bond film. When Brosnan's hit show Remington Steel was cancelled in 1987, James Bond producers jumped at the opportunity to offer the iconic role to him, and he was all set to accept, but then the ratings for Remington Steel improved so much, the show was renewed and Brosnan was contractually obligated to return to the title role. The producers ended up going with Timothy Dalton instead for The Living Daylights and License to Kill. Some legal disputes caused the Bond series to be out of commission for a few years, but in 1994, Brosnan finally got his chance, signing a three-film deal with the option for a fourth film. His first Bond movie, Goldeneye, grossed $350 million worldwide in 1995. Number 5. His net worth is $80 million. Brosnan earned $4 million for his first Bond film, Goldeneye, in 1995. He then earned $8.2 million for Tomorrow Never Dies, $12.4 million for The World Is Not Enough, and $16.5 million for Die Another Day. He's also earned tens of millions more for his other film and producer roles, as well as some lucrative advertising contracts, and today his net worth is $80 million. Number 6. His first wife died from ovarian cancer. Pierce met Cassandra Harris, an Australian actress, a few months after he left drama school, and they got married in 1980. Three years later, they had a son named Sean. 
They were married for 11 years, and they first met Albert Broccoli, a James Bond producer, when his wife had a role in the Bond film For Your Eyes Only in 1981. Sadly, Cassandra became seriously ill while filming a movie in India in 1987, and it was discovered she had ovarian cancer. She died a few years later in 1991, when she was 43 and Pierce was 38. His eldest stepdaughter also died of ovarian cancer in 2013. He was married again in 2001 to American journalist Keely Shea Smith, and they now have been together for over 20 years. Number 7. He faced possible jail time in 2018 for appearing in an Indian advertisement. In October 2016, Brosnan was featured in a newspaper and television ads in India, advertising for Panbahar mouth freshener. Although this doesn't seem like it would be controversial, there was major backlash. The problem is that the mouthwash he was advertising is also available in other flavors that contain a type of chewing tobacco, and it's illegal to advertise tobacco products in India. In 2018, Pierce was questioned by Indian authorities who demanded to know why he had chosen to be in the ad campaign and threatened him with a fine and a two-year prison sentence. The ads were withdrawn and Pierce said he was so deeply shocked and saddened to find out that he had been promoting a tobacco product. He felt the company had misled and manipulated him and he apologized to the authorities. Number 8. His singing in Mamma Mia was compared to a water buffalo and a donkey. In 2008, Bronson played the notable role of Sam in the hit movie Mamma Mia, and he became known for his singing, but not in a good way. To practice for his singing role, he sang karaoke to his own voice for hours a day for six weeks and then practiced more in rehearsals, but by his own admission, he sounded dreadful. When the movie came out, critics compared his voice to a water buffalo, a wounded raccoon, and a donkey, and he earned a Razzie Award for Worst Supporting Actor as well. Nevertheless, he's returning in the sequel, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, in 2018, and he'll be doing his own singing once more. Number 9. He Received Cars In Addition To His Salary For His Bond Roles As a bonus for playing the role of James Bond, Bronson was given a car for three of his films in addition to his regular salary. For Goldeneye in 1995, he received a BMW Z3, which was featured in the film. In 1997, he received an 8-series BMW for Tomorrow Never Dies, although a customized BMW 750i L was used in the film. And in 1999, he was given a BMW Z8 Roadster after completing The World Is Not Enough. Number 10. He Owns An $18 Million Malibu Mansion in 2000, Bronson bought a piece of a beachfront property in Malibu, California for $5.1 million. He then built a customized mansion that was especially designed to be eco-friendly. The windows are made out of non-glare insulated glass. It has an intuitive lighting system that turns the lights off if there's no motion in the room for five minutes. It also has a climate control system that adjusts the temperature in each individual room to maximize energy savings. Some of his neighbors include Goldie Hawn, Danny DeVito, and Steven Spielberg. You can find out much more about the last name on this list by clicking in the upper right-hand corner to watch our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About Steven Spielberg. Number 11. He owns his own production company called Irish Dreamtime. In 1996, Pierce established a production company based in Santa Monica, California called Irish Dreamtime. He started the company with his business partner, Beau St. Clair, who tragically passed away in 2016 from ovarian cancer, the same disease that took his first wife and oldest daughter. The small production company has produced some big-time films, including The Thomas Crown Affair, Laws of Attraction, and The Matador. And he's also sold scripted shows to Fox, Sony, and Spike TV. Number 12. His Aston Martin V12 Vanquish was destroyed in a house fire. In 2015, a fire started in the two-story garage of Bronson's Malibu mansion. It spread to the bedroom above it as well as to the roof. It caused about $1 million in damages, and his $300,000 Aston Martin V12 Vanquish was totally destroyed. Nearly 50 firefighters responded to the scene and had it under control in less than 30 minutes. Pierce was home at the time, but fortunately, no one was injured. Number 13. He sells his paintings for charity. 
After abandoning painting to pursue acting in his teenage years, Bronson picked up the hobby again in the 1980s as a form of therapy during his first wife's illness. Painting is how he prefers to spend his free time these days, and he sells prints of his paintings and donates the profits to charities that benefit the environment, children, and women. Number 14. He Won't Watch His Bond Movies Pierce has said he had many insecurities about playing the role of Bond throughout all four of his films, and that insecurity extends to even now, as he refuses to watch himself as Bond. He says he has absolutely no desire to watch the films because he's just never good enough. He also stated he felt like he was stuck in a time warp between Roger Moore and Sean Connery and couldn't really grasp the meaning of the role. Number 15. His films have grossed over $3.7 billion Brosnan has over 80 acting credits to his name and has starred in a number of box office hits. The top-grossing movie of his career thus far is Mamma Mia, which brought in nearly $610 million worldwide. He also played a notable role in Mrs. Doubtfire, which grossed $441 million. His most successful Bond movie was Die Another Day, which brought in $432 million. He also has eight additional movies that have surpassed the $100 million mark. Combined, his films have grossed $3.7 billion. And there you have it, Aluxers, some interesting, lesser-known facts about Pierce Brosnan. Now that you've learned some more about Pierce, we'd like to know. Do you think he's being overly critical of his acting in the Bond films, or do you agree that it wasn't his best work? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Of course you are, you're a true Aluxer. And because of that, here's your bonus fact. Number 16. He only met his father once at the age of 31. Pierce's father, Thomas, left when he was a baby, and he never knew him growing up. In fact, he only met him one time when he was 31 years old. He was filming an episode of Remington Steel in Ireland when he arranged to have a face-to-face -face meeting with his father at his hotel. He said they shared some stories and a few pints of Guinness, but then they went their separate ways and never met up again. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers! Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.